have a good gospel today the scribe comes up to the Lord and says, which is the first of all the commandments? If you can recall last weekend, the first reading we had from the book of Exodus, that Moses received the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai. We went through all the commandments last weekend. So the scribe brings these commandments before the Lord, says, which is the greatest? The Lord says, well, the first, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. Second, love your neighbor as yourself. Okay, well, we have truly the Lord summarized the Ten Commandments into two great commandments. If you love God, you'll keep the first three commandments. I am the Lord your God, no strange gods before me. Don't take the Lord's name in vain. Keep holy the Sabbath. Love your God. If you love your neighbor, of course, you'll keep the last seven. Honor your parents. Do not kill or commit adultery. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. And do not covet. So Lord put them right nice and nice summary into two great commandments. And we look at these commandments. Basically, this is how we should be living our lives each and every day. So in a way, when we get up in the morning, we bring to mind these two great commandments and say, in a real sense, this is my basic work today. First of all, to love God. Again, we know that God created us to be in relationship with him. They always say the most basic philosophical question would be, why do you exist? Well, as a Christian, we would say, well, because God created me to be in friendship with him. So then we can understand the first commandment. It makes sense. If I was created to be in relationship with God, then the first commandment is to love God. Let God be my first and primary relationship and not to have false idols in my life, but to be focused on my living relationship with God. So that's the first commandment. Then the second commandment is to love one's neighbor as oneself. Again, it's interesting, the Lord says to love your neighbor, basically to love the people that come into your life every day. But when you look at people, a lot of people spend their lives trying to be loved. I always find that intriguing. Most of us try to act a certain way, be a certain type of person, so people will accept us, and people will truly like us and love us. But the Lord never gave a commandment to do that. You don't hear from the scriptures, I want you to go and be loved by others. The Lord says, no, you go and love one another. And I can only love if I have been loved, and I know I have been loved by God. So simply, God loves me. The proof of that is the fact that I have existence. So I'm on God's mind at this time, and his love is unconditional. His love is faithful. So the love that we're looking for, we already have received from the Lord. That's why it's always important to have this quiet prayer time with the Lord. Just to sit back and to know that I'm loved by God. He's with me. He's my shepherd. He provides for me. He protects me. He knows everything about me. He wants the best for me. That to know that I'm loved by God, just to sit back and enjoy that truth. And then the more I can recognize the Lord's love, the more that I can go forth and share that love with those around me. So it's a process that I receive from the Lord, let the Lord's love come upon my life, and then I let that love flow for me to others. In fact, the Lord even said in Scripture, if you want to show that you love me, is to take my love and let that love flow from you to others, love one another. So that's the process that we have. And again, to love one another is to die to oneself to serve the needs of the other. And that's truly what love is. So these are the two basic commandments that God has given to us. And truly, these commandments are very simple to understand. Let God be your first and primary relationship. Love the people that come to your life every day. Simple commandments to understand. But we know by experience, not that easy to put into practice. To have God as my first and primary relationship, to grow in a personal relationship with God, and to love the people that come into my life every day, and that's not that easy. Again, it's not easy to live these two simple commandments because just sit back and think, if everybody walk in the face of the earth today, live these two simple commandments today, 
what this world would be like. If everybody lived these two simple teachings, commandments, what this world would be like. If all of us were faithful in saying yes to this, these commandments. And after all, these commandments are truly the Lord is teaching us this is the pathway that leads to the kingdom. For us to love God and love neighbor, this is the pathway that brings us the kingdom of heaven. So the Lord teaches us how to live our lives in the fullness now, and this pathway leads us to the fullness of life in the kingdom of heaven. So as we gather here today, as we worship our Lord, as we listen to his word today, but we ask the Lord to help all of us to truly be committed to living these two simple commandments. This is our Lenten season. This is the time to see where have I failed to do this? What do I need to do to improve my living these commandments in my life? So may the Lord give us the grace to repent of our sinfulness, give us the grace to be faithful in loving God and loving neighbor as we continue our journey to the kingdom.